while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now, I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Like, shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me too, if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Don't you say anything. I got this. Three. Well played. <laughs> I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready to uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard question. <laughs> Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. But I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. Hard to argue with that, but it's pretty risky, right? I mean, yeah, but you only get so much time. So when I see a chance, I take it, even if he might shoot me down. Yeah, that all sounds nice, but it's just not me. A true lone wolf? I can respect that. Hey, you've been dangling that line an awful long time. Sure you didn't forget the bait? Here, watch a master at work. Take it away. Hey, you're missing the show. Careful now. You look like you might be enjoying yourself. <laughs> it's an act. But seriously, thanks, man. This is exactly what I needed. <sighs> Almost. It's just missing one tiny thing. Ben Chip, you read my mind. You know Allison refuses to eat anything cold in the winter? It's her loss. From now on, you've got someone to call if you want to fish or slam a pint of Ben and Jerry's in the snow. Find. Uh, small fry. We should try to do this again while I'm still in town. For sure. You have my number now. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay. Sorry. Don't be. I'll see you two later.
Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of weirding me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. And you took his word for it? He was crazy in love with Marianne. Whoever set that fire was doing damage control. And Sam's nothing but damage. I guess he really doesn't have anything left to lose, does he? There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently, she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Let's go. Ugh, what a mess. That what do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. It's probably just storage. We're gonna find like 13 years of National Geographic or something. So why would she keep it a secret then? What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. The handle should be behind this. Ah, oh, there it is. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Yep. Come on. Well, that's way too high to jump. You want to give me a leg up? I'm so not touching your nasty shoes. We'll find a ladder. Can you see anything? Nope. Not a... Here, found a switch.
Huh? Holy shit. Well, that shaved a few years off my life. She left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. <laughs> well, you want to do this? Yeah, let's start here. these pictures from the Book of Goblins here? I don't know. Hmm. It seems like it's not doing anything. Maybe it's broken? Or maybe we just need to solve the puzzles in order. We're not done with the other one yet. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? Crafty goblins go here. Uh, the mad hunter, always on the princess's trail. The moon hag's gotta be imprisoned in her lake. I don't get this one. What's the deal with the tiara? Do you have any idea what the code might be? No. So we should probably see if Marianne hid anything before we go trying to guess. We'll let the mangy muskrat have his rock back. Back in your pond, big frog. The Ice King goes in the forest, obviously. There you go, stalwart moose. Hey, I want to take a crack at this one before we try to figure out any others. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the mad hunter. It looks like it. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Huh. Is there an extra star here? Or am I... Mm, maybe that branch looks a little bit different? I don't know. The princess is running away from the mad hunter. Who was sent by the gold lady. Huh. No goblins. Yeah. In the original, the goblins managed to save the princess. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be her mother's castle. It looks like the princess is running away from it. So, Marianne ran away from home. And she... Huh. A pink flower. Was that in the original picture? Did she add that flower? Is that like an innocence lost kind of thing? Here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? 
since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Okay, spot the differences. Ugh, I'm really grasping at straws here. Actually, I'm not sure. It's just a ra random star. No sp special meaning. Even if the branch is a little different, don't really think- Wait. Actually, I'm not sure. Never mind. That's... Nothing. Huh. Maybe not. But the title is different. Figured anything out yet? Uh, I'm totally stumped. Well, first off, the title's different, right? Does his smile look different to you? Figured anything out yet? I'm totally stumped. Well, first off, the title's different, right? Or not. The Mad Hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the Gold Lady cut off his other one, or after he earned it back? Which either makes it before most of the stories, or after. Yeah. At some point when she was running away from whatever the hell the Mad Hunter meant to Marianne. Branch is a little different. I don't really. Th That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Uh, pictures, letters. Have you ever seen any of these? All the pictures of Marianne I've ever seen were the ones hanging on the walls. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So. Did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. The Gold Lady is the wise princess's cruel mother, who sent the Mad Hunter to drive the girl back to the palace. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Mary Ann. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Did you know she studied engineering? No. It, it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. 
I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. Could this guy have been any more cryptic? You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So... Maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos, don't they? Well, some of them do anyway. Maybe that's it then. Is the gold lady setting the animals free? Judging from the broomstick, I'd say she's getting rid of them, not setting them free. The princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did for fun. Notice how unhappy she looks in all these pictures. I don't think she was having any fun. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being watched by the gold lady. Hmm. Huh. What's the gold lady doing? Whispering something into someone's ear behind the princess's back? Nope. Figured anything out yet? Uh, I'm totally stumped. I'm trying to figure out this one with all the animals. What about that drawing of Marianne's pet? Didn't it say, I miss you or something? I guess that's not it. We should go take another look at Marianne's childhood photos. Is that it? It's opening. There are like a million possibilities. Probably quicker just to see if she left us a hint somewhere. in there this time. Her father.
What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried, who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine, let's keep digging. Salmonberry Park, huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Mary Ann when the whole town was turning on us? Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No wonder she was so handy. Oh, so that's how she found the house. This just lit up, so I think we're supposed to try this one next. What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? That's the gold lady's castle. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. This is the princess's house. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey, that degree in outdoor studies is paying off. Some sort of clock? This looks like a dinner party with the old bear. This is the princess's, damn it. Why is nothing happening? Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old- What's that? Come on. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are some sort of clock? This looks like a dinner party with the- This is the princess's- Come on! This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Some sort of clock? What's that plant thing on top? Oh, this is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner, come on. This looks like a dinner party with the- This is the princess's house.
This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? We'll get to those later. Let's finish this one, okay? That's the gold lady's castle. Some sort of clock? What's that plant thing on top? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner, come on. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. What's that plant thing on top? Oh. Those are definitely salmon. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's loss. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on, but when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest.
Okay, so how do we open it? The princess lost. Why don't we just break this open? There's a crowbar right downstairs. What? No. You don't want to try and figure out what all this means? I'm so done with her riddles. The princess lost her most precious treasure. That's why it all happened. I still can't wrap my head around it. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. Tyler, we're not done with this one. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. Old lady stays locked up in her castle. That crowbar is sounding pretty nice right now. Did it just get darker in here? A baby blanket? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. I was her son. Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on. Let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. 
crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... Did they steal candy? Actually, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Some flour for the cake, maybe? Wait. Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? Some flour for the cake, maybe? Maybe not. What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite and then one day it just disappeared. Hey, now that we're done with the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. The very old beaver's repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? Uh, she fixed the roof shingles. She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. She repaired the water leak. Actually, I'm not sure. She slapped the post with- All right. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her.
crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. They helped fix the beaver dam. They removed a thorn from the frog's back. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Wait. They hugged the princess when she was crying. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? Why don't we open up the book and check? Fresh caught salmon? Some roses, maybe? Or not. A newly bloomed bluebell? A handful of ripe berries? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. Crafty goblins good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh.
Well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. Or not. Or not. Huh. They had to give nuts to the muskrat. Wait. They helped fix the beaver dam. Or not. They broke open the beehive for the bear. Actually, I'm not sure. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. broke open the beehive for the bear. Actually, I'm not sure. Or not. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. You really want to go? You sure we've seen everything? Either way, I'm ready for this to be over. Me too. What are we waiting for? I want to know who was here that night. Let's try and remember who Marianne was arguing with. Tom? Tom Vecchi is our father? Of course. It had to be him. Tessa knew, didn't she? Yeah, she, she must have. That's what she didn't want to tell us. God, Marianne and Tom? I know. 
Uh, what should we do now? Yeah, call him out here and make him tell us what was going on. And if he won't? We know his secret. He will. Tom? It's Allison. We need to talk. We know it was you. Let me take the lead on this. I know him better. I thought I did, anyway. Sure. Whatever. As long as we get answers. Kids, listen. You're our father. <sighs> yes. You knew how bad it got out here. How little we had. Why didn't you help Marianne? You mean all the money she wanted? We didn't have anything to spare. Well, that winter was rough on everyone. It, you would have starved out here if not for all the free food we gave you. Don't act like you had anything to do with that. That was all Tessa. That's a cruel presumption, young man. Maybe it was Tessa's idea initially. But I supported it. And your mother was... <laughs> 